So today I hit 2,000 subscribers. It's a pretty big milestone for me. I was trying to hit 2,000 subscribers for a while now, and all of a sudden my subscribers just started rocketing up. So that's a pretty good feeling. I like that. I'm real pumped about that. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you for supporting me. Not really supporting me, but I guess supporting me. Supporting me and getting more subscribers. We'll go with that. So let's get to the cage building. What is up? We are working on the Mustang again. Mustang? I haven't done this in like months. Uh, putting the cage in, well, doing something today, hopefully. Want to start putting the cage in? Yeah, I, I already kind of had it not really in, but I started doing it a while ago and I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to cutting things. So yeah, you can see my beautiful notch here. Yeah, look at that, that looks so good. So now, Master uh, fucking, what would I call you? Master Fabricator Nick is Fabricator going to Nick. mediocre going to help Fabricator it, Nick help me out and uh, get it going. He knows a lot more about this shit than I do. I could just weld. That's that's all I do. Some might even call me a grinder. We're getting closer. John, Are you gonna make it any closer to here? I'm not gonna be able to. Where it it's sits. gonna sit right there, yeah. Probably shave a little bit off the bottom here and get it closer. Okay. I will uh, drill the hole in the floor. Yes, we are choosing to drill holes in the floor so we could drop the cage down instead of uh, cutting the roof off or some janky shit like that. of the A-pillar bars in. Now, what, the one across? Yep. Yeah, we'll leave the dash bar for last. Not last, but when it's in. So like, cause I don't have my fucking shit in there. I still gotta figure out why the, the steering shaft is drunk. Oof. It could be the 5-0 steering shaft that I have Wait, in there. Let me decide that. How are we doing that center uh, harness bar? What? Cause we don't have the cross. Like, yeah, I had, that's why I bought the, extra kit because it came with a bar that goes well we should do the harness bar then no because it's going across oh you wanted to use it vertically well because there's a bar that goes across here and connects this to this but it it's on there so i'm not going to use that for that that's going to be i forget what it's going to be but i know i have a bar that will go from here to there so yeah all right so the halo area bar unit is in now uh so now it's a pretty much the full deal here now i'm gonna i believe weld as much as i can and then we drop it down oh yeah it's turning out absolutely terrible why oh my god what am i doing these welds look like dog shit trash all right well i'm clearly not in the right state of mind or something because i can't fucking do it i could do it fine on everybody else's vehicles when it comes to my own i guess i can't fucking yeah. do it oh my god i am not welding the rest of the car like this wow buddy i don't know what the fuck is going on here <laughs> you know i could do better than that mm. yeah you taking a flapper wheel of that one yeah let me uh maybe see this position here. The problem is I can't see where I'm going. Like, I totally enjoy those ones way better. They look good there. But everywhere you can see them, they look bad. That is pretty, uh, I don't know what you're doing. You're going the wrong direction. I'm doing something. So that one ain't gonna happen, I can tell you that much. You're gonna flap that thing right down. Oh yeah. But I don't understand. I guess it's just I wasn't comfortable there or something. It's hard, man, because you're not resting your hand on anything. Right. So your best bet is to try to grab it a little bit. Grab it? Like, yeah, that's, that's like piss fucking poor, brother. Like, All right. Did I run out of gas? 
Yeah, sure looks like it did. I did. Yeah, you have no gas. Great. That's okay though. It's okay to stop. You're probably better off that way. Yeah, I'll go get gas tomorrow. Okay, so ran out of gas, so I need I need to get more gas. Well that that we'll say that's why the welds looked like that. Okay, so it's uh, currently dropped down through the floor. Uh, as you can see, this is not how I'm gonna be sitting in the car. <laughs> The fitment is not good, but it has the full cage. It has the top bar and everything going on. So I'm going to weld the tops. Then we put it back together. Well, fuck. And then we put it back up and um, finish doing it. Yeah, so you can see like I didn't get the tops of any of the bars really. Have to be able to fully weld it in or it's pointless. Did I get it all the way around? I did. Hell yeah. I did that on the outside of the windshield. <laughs> Am I done? No way I'm done. All that to do five minutes if worth of welding. There's no way I'm done already. Besides that fucking booger job over there. You could probably get this a little better, right? At least it'll hide all the fucking good welds. <laughs> well, that's it, I guess, Anna. Okay, well, that was it. It's fully welded. Send it home. All right, so it is currently day four of doing this roll cage. Um, don't mind that. So I stopped the last time earlier than I wanted to. Because I caught the fuel lines on fire, <laughs> they were uh, apparently underneath where I was welding one of the A-pillar bars to the floor. And uh, yeah, I kind of freaked out a little bit and went home because I got scared. So um, yeah, today I'm gonna finish putting the plates in. I actually had to find a plate because Nick used one of mine and I need another. But yeah, I'm gonna finish welding all the plates in and see what I can get in the car uh, bar-wise. Maybe I'll try and fit the dash bar in, stuff like that, but that might be last. I do wanna put in intrusion bars in the front. Let me show you on Nick's car since there's light. Pretty much where this is here, it'll go to the, it'll be a bar here and a bar here. And it basically, all it does is stops, if you crash, it stops the wheel from coming in and hurting you. That is my plan today, is to get the rest of this hopefully completed, sort of. I have the upper bars all welded. I just need to plant the cage to the car, if you will. I don't even know if you can see it, because it's very dark in there. The rear bars, the uh, main hoop, it has the forward bars, the upper bar, and then it goes down to the floor. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this up and start going. I'm gonna start tacking stuff in. On this side now, I don't have a plate for the left front, so that's gonna have to get uh, left out for the time being. I'll have to do that when I get it. <clears throat> All right, so I am done for the day. Uh, I got the bar in the back there, and I got the main hoop support bar in. Now next, I'm going to have to do the harness bar, which is gonna go here all the way across. Um, after that, probably it's going to be the dash bar or the intrusion bars here. And then finally, it is just door bars, which I don't know. I think I'm gonna be doing, um, let me turn this light off, it's very bright. I think I'm gonna be doing an X. I'm not quite sure though, because I could do ladder bars or the X. I don't know, I, the kit I bought is the X kit, but I think I'm gonna have leftover pieces, it seems. I'm not sure why. That's probably what I'm gonna do, so. Got the driver's side harness bar in. Still have to do the other side, so that's next. What up? So I think it's day five. Today, I need to get the other harness bar, the passenger side harness bar put in. Um, possibly the dash bar, maybe door bars. I don't have a lot of time today. I only have like five hours. So here's what I've done so far. Driver's side harness bar is tacked in. I'm, I'm about to make the passenger side and then possibly the dash bar today. 
I don't know though. So let's get started. I'm kind of noticing that everything's 45 degrees, which I guess that's probably a good thing. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this other side here at about 45, give or take. And uh, then I'm gonna fit it up there, see how much more I'm gonna have to cut, so I'm probably gonna have to cut a little more off, and then start notching. Now I'm just gonna have to notch that to fit the pipe that it's mating to. This is gonna go there and then there. So I need it to come down some. And then I gotta find level. So I know because I did this on the other side, but I'm getting my Sharpie here. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna have to notch the center out here. Okay, so I gotta take this out here. And then I believe, let me see here, the top here in the center. So what I'm gonna do is just one at a time. So I'm gonna take this bottom one out first and then uh, test fit the pipe and then take the top out and adjust. So I'm gonna do that real quick and be back. So I notched it just on the bottom there. Let's see what happens here if it fits. It's, it's almost there, literally almost there. So now what am I gonna have to take out? Where is it touching? I'm gonna have to take more out of the bottom of this tube and get it to drop down a little more. Do that and we're probably gonna have to end up taking some out of the top, I think. All right, let's see. There we go. Now I just gotta find the levelness of it and then tack it in. So what I had to do was um, notch out the top side here and notch out the bottom pretty good for it to fit in, but it's got a pretty good fit. It's not like A plus, but it's pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna find level, mark that. So let me set this back up there. All right. There we are. Harness bars are in. Probably could have got that fitment a little bit better to pull it down just a tiny bit, but that's okay. Ow! The welder's hot, don't touch it. All right, so harness bar is in. Now the whole rear of the cage is in and done. Now I don't have to focus on the front and the door bars here, so uh, yeah. I, I Actually, I should probably, uh, I'm dumb. I should have welded everything in in the back before I did this. Whatever, I could still get in there, so it's not a problem. Look how good this is looking. It's coming out so good. Uh-huh. I like that everything meets up in that corner too. I think it looks really cool. All right, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the dash bar. So I have this slew of pipes here. See, it's weird to me because some of them have notches on both sides, but I don't, I don't know why they would do such a thing because I haven't had one bar that fit correctly on this whole cage yet. So probably gonna end up using like one side of it and cutting it to fit and re-notching it myself. So uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up there now and see if it uh, see if it fits. Now there was a specific dash bar, but oh god, they're all falling down. Uh, there was a specific dash bar. It might be this because this one's smaller than all the other ones. Uh, I don't remember what one it was. Um, and now all the pipes are combined. So I have a bunch of leftover stuff, and I've kind of just been grabbing what I thought was right. Yeah, this is way too far. Way too big. Now, I don't know where exactly this needs to be right now, so what I have to do, I think, is throw my steering column on and put a jack stand underneath it and kind of put the seat in the car and sit in the position that I want it. And then I'll put the dash bar there with a little bit of wiggle room because I can maneuver the steering wheel up and down. So I might just do that. This is all new to me, by the way. The other day I couldn't notch a pipe and now I'm notching my own pipes. It's amazing what you learn when you're by yourself. All right, so I'm gonna get this steering column put on quick and uh, then I'll be back. All right, so I have it kind of set up. It's kind of hard to see, but um, I kind of like it in this position. It could be close to me because now I have a quick release, so I could actually, um, give, give me a minute here, would you? 
me situate this situation. So I can have it in this position now, nice and close to me. I have a quick release, so right here seems like it's pretty good. I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch of custom stuff to make this work. Um, it doesn't interfere with anything. All my stuff is in the right spots, it looks. So uh, I just gotta make sure that the fucker's straight in here, and then that's, that's it. So, where to put the dash bar at? I guess I could just put it right there. Where's the freaking marker? When I do that, I'll just uh, make mounts. <coughs> I'll make mounts for the steering column to mount onto, and uh, yeah, then I'll have a steering wheel. Making it level and all that happy stuff will be later, because right now I don't care about that. I care about getting everything else. How do I get this off? There care about getting everything else in. So another thing I'd like to do is make a hook, put a hook on my, in the front here to hang my steering wheel from. Don't know if that's allowed, but whatever. I'm gonna put that there so I can hang my steering wheel on it when I'm not in the car. All right, I'm gonna pull this all back out and uh, make a bar. All right, I got the dash bar in place right now. I have to tack it in, but that will leave not much left. So, yeah, I'm gonna tack this in real quick. Uh, I have to level it and stuff, so. I swear, every time I make a video, my phone goes off. Now the dash bar is in. Oh, and if you're wondering, I have a nosebleed. I get them a lot, it sucks. Uh, so dash bar is in, I don't remember if I showed you that, and I built part of the door bars on the driver's side and I cut my thumb off in the process. Not really, but now I gotta just do three vertical bars here and just copy it to that side. Sick. All right, so I have the passenger side door bar done. Take a look at the layout. Nikki's working on the other side. We're gonna get there. Yeah, look at it. This is about it. Once that's done, then uh, the rest of the cage just gets fully welded, and then we figure out intrusion bars if we're gonna actually do those or not. Yep, it's coming along. All right, all of the fabrication is complete. So, I guess there's adequate light on the side. Done, door bars are done, dash bars done, the entire cage is completed. I only went with one bar in the back instead of the X. So the only thing really I have to do, I guess, is the intrusion bars in the front there, but I'm not sure if I'm doing them or not. So, all right, that does it for this week's episode. I'm really, really pumped with how this turned out. I love everything about this cage. I'm just gonna weld it. I'm not gonna bore you guys with welding. I'm gonna obviously just do that off camera, <laughs> but this car is on track to be making it to the track next year. Uh, in the winter, I'm gonna be getting this bad boy tuned and dyno tuned and stuff like that so it actually runs right and you can get the most power possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Just hit 2,000 subscribers, kind of pumped. <laughs> All right, that does it for me. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.